Kia ora. it's Ruth here in my backyard in Christchurch. Now you might see since the last time we showed you these macrocarpa planter boxes we've had to make some bird coverings. We had a bit of a sad weekend where we went away, came back having them covered just flat on the ground with some bird netting. The wind had blown it off and our seedlings are decimated. That's when I'm glad that I didn't grow from seed because it wasn't that I'd put in weeks and weeks of work growing it. So luckily I had just bought them um, from the hardware store. But now we've made these. We've made two of the planter boxes so far. So we're just going to show you on our third planter box how we make them. So that if you've got the same problem with birds at home, you can see how easy it actually is to make the coverings. Now it's quite cool because I was away in Auckland for a couple of days. And I went to a garden place called Dig It, which I'll put a link down below. Really awesome place for the community. And they had um, irrigation tubes that they'd bent around just like this to make their bird netting. Now I came home ready to tell Caleb about this idea and Caleb goes, I've got a solution for our problem. We've got this old irrigation tube around the side of our house, why don't we use that? So, great minds, we've made it happen. So we've got two planter boxes and we'll show you how to do the third. Just quickly I wanted to show you our decimated seedlings. Pretty sad, these are all our um, sugar snap peas up here. We're going to see if they do survive. Their roots are still intact but their leaves are all gone. So I'm not planting any more yet. Just planted some little lettuces. And then if you see here, our broccolini has been eaten down. I've just planted some new seedlings next to it. But that's what all our broccolini ended up looking like. G'day team. So I'm just going to put in four of these little saddle clips. I've put one in now. Um, where I'm going to put them is right in here. What I've done is I've put this here relatively flat. I've got my nail on the angle, as I did before, slightly pointing upwards. I'm going to put it in about 90% of the way. And then I'm going to swap and do the other side. And again, trying to keep this nice and flat. Yep, that's pretty good. I'm going to put this in, avoiding the fingers. Now we're ready to go. We have a wonderful coil of irrigation line that we found down the side of our house. So what we're going to do is, if you grab that side Caleb, and we're just going to decide on how big we'd like our archway to be. Um, the ones at the back are quite big, these will be about the same, about so yeah? Yep. Cool. And then I'm just going to cut it off, and then just go straight in. Then what we're going to do is hammer it a little bit more so that it holds it up tight. Now we have our hoops up. What we're going to use is these staples to hammer in and this is so that the netting has something to catch on to. So down the side I've decided to put five because it just gives a good number to hold it all well in. As we know we've got sneaky birds so we don't want to give them any chance of getting into our plant boxes. And once I have it about halfway I'm going to hit it down so that the netting has something to catch on and then keep doing it all the way around the box. When I went to go buy bird netting, I was going to get it by the meter, and luckily the autumn sales system said with the amount I was getting, I might as well buy a whole bag of it. So I have got meters upon meters of bird netting, which is perfect because I've got lots of beds I now want to cover. So what we just need to do to be finished is measure it over the top and cut it to the right size so that we can cover the beds fully. And there we have it, one fully covered plant box. Again, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more. And now before it rains, we're going to get our last plant box done. Kakite, see you next time.